Are you trying to study every day but you're not seeing the results despite your efforts? Well then you've clicked on the right video because in this video I'll be telling you exactly 9 things that are destroying your academic comeback, 9 of the common study mistakes that you can make and the things which are decreasing your productivity. Sometimes it's not just about the hard work but it's also about the smart work. I'm Dr. Anuj and as a doctor I've given literally hundreds of examination all from competitive, non-competitive as well as the theory exams. And in this video I'll be breaking down to you the 9 most essential habits that you should be breaking today in order to be studying well. Let us start. Number one, most important thing is that you are studying without a plan. You wake up and you decide on the day itself, okay, today I'll be studying this subject because, uh, just because. You don't really have a goal or an objective for that week that you can drive your energy towards. And that, my friends, is the biggest killer of your studies. A person who has a study plan will save multiple hours every week and over the course of a year, that will become multiple days, even months. So if you're still studying without a study plan, here's how to make it. Find out what are your weak subjects and find out what are your strong subjects. Write them down on a notebook and start by studying the weakest ones. I know it might be difficult but that's where you see the most marks increase. Go to your whiteboard and write down on a day wise basis what are you going to be studying exactly topic specific. Not just something like I'll be studying biology, write down exactly I'll be studying plant kingdom, I'll be studying the families. If you write it down this specifically you will know exactly what you do when you wake up. Make sure you include practicing questions and buffer days in between so that your timetable is good. And once you're done that you will see significant increase in your productivity. By the way by subscribing to the channel millions of students have actually gained a significant increase in their productivity so consider doing that if you feel that this video is helpful to you. Number two, this is something which I struggle with quite a lot and that is multitasking. You know when you've got 15 chrome tabs open, three of them being YouTube, two of them being your research papers, four of them being some study material that you're looking up and two of them being random cat videos playing on Instagram. That's when you know that you are multitasking and you are literally not getting even a single thing accomplished. But let me tell you this, your body is not made to multitask. You are supposed to be doing focused work one task at a time. In one of my most favorite books, Deep Work, Carl Newport says the same thing that whenever you are doing deep work, always do it task specific. If you feel like you have to study only this subject today, you have to cut off every task from your to-do list and only keep that subject as your to-do list. I repeat, do not multitask, do not try to read multiple things at once, only stick to one thing at a time. Turn off notifications, put your phone away, just remove all the distractions from your life and remove the multitasking. Focus on one task at hand and only get it done. Research shows that multitasking reduces up to 40% efficiency. So a reading which would have taken you one hour will now take you like one hour and 30 minutes. Number three, something which I struggle with till today, that is passive learning. What is passive learning? Whenever you're reading your textbook, you're just highlighting it and you're not taking anything away from it. If you keep on highlighting stuff, it's not going to Go into your brain. This is something which you have to hardwire. Highlights will definitely help you remember what are the important topics on your reread, but they are doing nothing at all when you're reading the topic for the first time. How many things have you highlighted in just today itself, but how many things are you able to recall from that? That's right, absolutely nothing. Passive learning things like highlighting or underlining will not get you through the exams. You have to focus on smart study techniques like practicing active recall on a day-to-day -day basis, solving questions with intent, and trying out things like drawing the diagrams by memories or breaking down a complicated thing into a simple flowchart. Trying out making a mind map or explaining to a friend, that way you will learn much better than simply highlighting. I've got a friend who highlights literally every single line of the textbook and if you have a friend like that, share this video to them because they might really benefit from it. Number four, not taking enough breaks. Whenever you're in a high focused activity, your brain's mental energy is draining very fast and by taking a good relaxing break, you can reduce this fatigue because there is a limit to how long your brain can actually focus on the task at hand and research shows that it's up to 45 to 50 minutes at a time. However, this may vary depending on person to person. So how do we take breaks? Well, there is this famous technique known as the Pomodoro method. You study for 35 to 40 minutes and then you take a break for 5 to 10 minutes. If you keep on doing this, you will develop a habit and slowly and slowly increase this duration of focus. I personally myself have done it. My Pomodoros used to start from 30 minutes when I was a second year MBBA student. But during my neat PG exam session, I used to make up a order of 3.5 to 4 hours. And all of these 4 hours, my mind used to stay just as alert as on minute 1 to the minute last. And that's the power of neural plasticity. You can change your brain to the way that you like. Please make sure that you're not using your phone during this break time, otherwise you will drain your mental energy. Do something productive, go out for a walk, talk to your mom or dad, talk to your friend if possible. Or if you're like me, you can record videos in between and make a vlog out of it at the end. Whatever it is, be productive during your breaks and don't do activities that will drain your mental energy down. That includes talking to friends who are toxic. And you know which friend I'm talking about. Number five, this is very crucial when you have a lot of things to study that is ignoring the high yield important topics. So when I was studying medicine, which is a huge, huge subject, it had 
unlimited topics to study from unlimited diseases to study and unlimited treatment protocols how do i know which disease to study and i cannot ever say to the patient oh my god are you suffering from botches disease well sad news for you because i skipped that topic while i was studying medicine i cannot do that but at the same time i can ensure that i am not wasting my time on unnecessary topics which might not be that important from the exam point of view because in the end if you don't crack an exam you will not be a doctor i understand reading everything is important as a medical student especially but it's very essential that you first read the things that are important don't get lost in the details that you very fancily read often times when you are reading huge textbooks we feel like it is so beautiful it is written like a story i want to keep on reading but that's something which you should avoid unless and until you've got a lot of time at your hand so first read the important topics you know you know how to get the important topics you can look at the previous year questions or you can talk to your seniors both of these methods will help you figuring out what are the things to read first and which are the things you can read later on however especially as a medical student try to read most of the topics because in the end you might be seeing a patient in your wards according to that disease number 6 it is studying without reviewing what does that mean that means that you've studied a topic you have closed it and then you will never see it again before the exam comes up and this is the number one most important thing that will cause you to have a mental breakdown a panic attack before the exams i still remember my friend telling me on the day of my surgery to examination that oh my god how did i come up to this place that i don't know a single word of orthopedics and i have to write that just in a few minutes <laughs> so yes it does happen to the best of us but please have a schedule for reviewing the things which you are studying for example if i studied biology last week i will try to incorporate at least a few hours this week to study all the things which i've done before you know what happens a lot of student comes up to me and says sir i have done my 11th well but now that i saw all the questions of 11th class i'm not getting those questions you should have practiced your 11th class even when you started your 12th you should not leave the chapters that you were once good at behind because your memory of it will fade away just like you are not able to remember the things and the subjects that you read 2 or 3 years ago because our mind is not built for permanent storage it is only built for temporary storage which you keep on accessing for a long period of time until it becomes permanent so always review your subjects whatever you are studying over the course of few weeks or few months after you have studied them if you do not wish to forget them and for the subjects like maths which i chose to forget from my life as soon as i entered my neat era you can absolutely stop studying that number 7 Number 7 is very essential. Please listen to this very carefully. It is studying in a cluttered environment. When I enter a room of a student and I see that everything is haphazard, I know that that guy is cooked. And I also can't believe I use the word cooked in a sentence. Having a clean environment actually cleans your mind. The way you perceive your surroundings is the way your mind perceives knowledge. If it's very haphazard, it's very chaotic, then you will definitely have a hard time remembering things. So just take a break for 5 minutes, clean out everything, organize everything. If you have some sort of obsession like me, make sure everything is symmetrical and perfectly aligned, and then you can start studying after starting a Pomodoro timer. But please for the shake brother, please start. What are what are you doing? But please for the sake of me, don't study in a cluttered environment. I'll tell you this will single-handedly be the most practical thing that you can take out from this entire video. Just clean your desk and you'll see the energy come right back at you. Number 8. I see a lot of students doing this and that is not asking for help when it's needed. When I was in class 11 12th, I was very shy. I was an introverted person. I did not have a lot of friends and I was kind of a nerd. and i used to be really really scared to just raise my hand to the teacher and tell them i have a doubt in this because it will it would make me so anxious yaar mujhe log judge to nahi karenge will i will the girls in this class perceive me as dumb yes i know i was a teenager once too all of these things made me really anxious so that an entire year went by and i did not even ask my physics teacher a single doubt i only used to go to that one teacher i knew to ask the questions i never used to ask any questions in class so the physics teacher calls up my mom and says yaar anuj never asked me any questions in the class he is not even attentive he is not getting good grades in physics my mom says yaar he is very introverted he only asks questions to that one teacher he is comfortable with so that's the point guys it's okay you can be anxious it happens with everyone but make sure that you have at least somebody you can ask the questions to don't be like me you would just hold on to that questions forever find somebody that you're comfortable with it if you're not comfortable with your teachers it's okay i won't force you to ask them ask to your top of friends ask to your batchmates who are helpful ask to somebody who will help you but don't keep your questions unanswered nowadays you've got a lot of great applications in the market you've got chat gpt so make sure you utilize that you please ask the questions chase the answers because that's the way that you develop the concepts and that's the way you develop the topics number 9 this is this is the most epic thing which everybody does and uh, we don't realize that we are doing this uh, when we are doing it so number 9 is overloading yourself with too many resources especially when it comes to need pg there are like 
several applications on the market there is maro there is preplada there is dams there is bhatia just to name like four of them but literally there are 400 of them if i start counting and it is so easy to fall into the trap of the fomo that okay only if i buy this resource i will be successful only if i buy that resource i will be successful to be honest there is absolutely nothing like that and you will never find an application which is 100% suited to your needs because everybody is different and you cannot personalize an application so don't overload yourself with too many resources please remember it's about the student who cracks the exam not the resource that cracks the examination so it's all up to you and you have to utilize whatever resource that you've got with your best and of course if you're having some difficulty you can go for the other ones but don't overload yourself ki okay i want to buy this i want to buy that mujhe physics wala bhi chahiye mujhe akash bhi chahiye ln ki dpp bhi chahiye mujhe i want everything that won't solve the problems there are people who are cracking examination with less 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 resources than you have and they are still doing it so please don't burden yourself with resources make sure that you study consistently and smash that like button right now if you enjoyed this video and every single person who has watching till this point of the end shall subscribe right now just click that button make it go from black to red to white whatever it is on this computer screen let's see how many people subscribe in just one video thank you so much for watching i'm dr anuj and if you're new to the channel hi welcome kaise ho please subscribe i make videos on study about productivity about my life as a doctor and i'll soon be joining my post graduation i am from which you can expect vlogs so yes thank you so much and without any further ado all the best for exams take care see you bye bye good night